like, the court's gonna be like, uh, you know, you've been receiving bribe money, and then he's like, oh, she's working as a sex worker. Okay, how do you prove that? Because she was getting our bribe money from somewhere. Your what money? Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we wrapped up Kaneshiro's palace. We pretty much changed his heart, and he told us about a mysterious other person in the palace is causing havoc. And he said, "Oh, you don't know what power you guys hold." And we basically got concerned and brushed that off and all that. We're here now, still waiting eight days here yet to change his heart. Um, still has to go to the actual deadline that he gave us to see what the outcome is. Before we get started, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things down below if you're interested in continuing on with me in my series here in Persona 5 Royal. With that out of the way, Makoto. Hey, you don't have any reason to go to the student's council office, do you? Uh, right here. <laughs> hey. That said, all we can do now is wait. Hmm? Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to study in the library, perhaps? I came uh, to see you. Do you have a minute? If you seem your studies have paid off, have you been working hard? It seems like I have enough knowledge to invite Makoto out. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with her. There's something I want to talk to you, if it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. Doesn't really seem very uh, private, but whatever. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. I mean, what do you plan on doing? <laughs> like I always said, way to go, step advisor. will be to learn more about the other students. I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Well, you're totally right. That's not true. Really? I hope you're right. But I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? Sounds I don't mean right. that in a surveillance Sounds like way. Any government body I just should want to know them that. as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Uh, probably the arcade. <laughs> I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest. I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply yeah, studying well, won't get me trust anywhere. Me. Let's go now. It'll be a field trip. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're well, unsure, you probably shouldn't go going. by yourself. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> So, this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. What are you trying to say? Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Yes, hmm. light gun and all that. Uh, it'll be an experience. Wanna try it? I if it's okay with you, do you think nah, you I'm can good. teach that's... me? Wait, that's what we're here for. I did it! No way! Ah! Koto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossing in the game to even notice, though. Uh oh, Makoto's an up and coming gamer. Oh, so this is how it is. You're a, you're a real gamer. There you go. Of course, 
that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Probably. That might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit. I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. So much to learn. That was a nice side of you. A new side of you, sorry. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. Alright, Makoto wants to become street smart. I look forward to it. <laughs> I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. I can sense a strong resolve from Makoto. Whoa, back to the future. Haven't done one of those in a while. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? Maybe. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Priestess Shadow Calculus allow you to see skills and potential item drops on the analyze screen, which All is right. very, very important. Just to see what you're gonna get from killing people. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I what? Like How do you know about well. that? Oh, wow. No, no, not for my own purposes. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, yeah, me. but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a really big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today. It's even been a little bit fun. Let's go again sometime. Yes. Good idea. After all, clearly plenty more I can learn. Before that, we should go to the red light district, like we discussed before. You got it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. See you later. All right then. See you. Well, that was a fun excursion. Ah, uh, you're back. Hey. About that stuff you got. Well, the city armor. I mean, there's a laundromat. No, we'll never be doing that. It's such a giant waste of time. Is your room messy? Is your room messy? Are you hungry? Leave it to Becky. Oh wait, did you need to request me? There's something I want to talk to you about. Feel like I can come closer. Yep, let's go uh, request Kawakami. Seeing as though we're rolling in money at this point. Thank you very much. Wait for me, master. Hey, hey! I actually really like the antique feel of the room. But I have to say goodbye today. What? Um... The thing is, I've decided to quit. My boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one. Takashi-kun's guardians keep increasing their demands, so this is just what I have to do. Is that really what you want? What I want. Takashi-kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Kashi-kun is by paying them. Is that not true? Then that's the right thing to do here. I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? I think it's a terrible idea. 
if that's what you decided. I need my teacher. I'm running away. I mean, if that's what you decided. That's what I decided. But I really decided on my own? Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad of what happened, I would resign the day he died. And yet, I still feel the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. That's your answer. Oh, that's right. I decided the way to apologize to him was to make sure that there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might be able to save him if he hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now I spend all my free time in a part-time job just so I continue working as a teacher. But the critical work of a teacher on back burner so I can make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make sense of things with Takagi-kun like this. Are you going to give up? That'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way for me to make amends to Kaki, to Kaki Kuhn, sorry. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money. And that is my answer. Well, what do you think? Um, I would say be confident in your answer. You're right. You can get the right answer from someone else if I can only be found within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. I feel Kawakami's trust in me strengthening. Temperance rank 8. All right. I've been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. I've averted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Takashi-kun. But from now on, I'm going to protect you too. As your teacher, I will never betray you. I want to protect you. That's kind of a line only works from someone old enough to handle his own household chores. Listen, but thanks. I'll speak with Takashi's. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. All right, it's time for thanks. me to go. Thank you, see you later. Good night. Well, I hope it all turns out, but since there's two more ranks, it most likely won't. <laughs> Oh, it's this master? Thank you so much for today. Oh, wait. I was supposed to stop working as Becky by today. To be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go alone like this forever. But I felt so stuck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. So much for being a maid. I'll do anything for you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're a sweet kid. I haven't really recognized all you've done, so thank you, really. Get to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body and mind, okay? Good night. I wanted to watch some 902 and 0 on my TV. Hi, everyone. Let's get started with class. How far did we get last time? Well... Well, Kawakami has second thoughts. Miss Chono, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? I'm off to the faculty office to make sure you study on your own. I mean, I'll study whatever you weren't going to teach us. <laughs> Kawakami's been kind enough to give us free time, so I bought it to put it to good do? use. So what's the plan? I want to read. Always read. And since I picked this up at the library last time, Speed Rainer, easy to learn. Speed reading techniques helps to increase your reading speed, which basically gets rid of one of these little bookmarks and makes you go faster. So, let's do that. By handling your eyes and brain separately, you're efficient. Well, that's a pretty sophisticated approach. At least the illustration makes it easier to understand. So you finish speed reading. You started flipping pages much faster towards the middle, so I thought you were skipping parts. I could already see that you were able to read more efficiently now. Right. Your reading speed has improved. From now on, you can read at double the speed, allowing you to cover twice the material. Ah. Which means I can take my time and save time. Which is super, super uh, helpful. 
What can they have been about? Well, let's resume class. Yep. How freaking long was she gone that I was able to read an entire book? <laughs> Thanks, Kawakami. She's the best. Ichima Forkun, please come to the student guidance office. Please come to the student guidance office. Hey! That sounds like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. Sounds like she's got a mission for me. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's Takashi-kun's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part-time job too, although I'm still in talks with my boss about it. I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher. No matter what others say, I won't waver. So thanks to you for giving me so much good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Miss Kawakami, you have guests. Oh Jesus, they came to the school. What? They're here? At the school? Oh Jesus. How long are you gonna make us wait? <laughs> Him again. You know it, lady. <laughs> How rude. What? I ain't rude. I guess a student is only as good as a teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. What? Listen, I'll have you know that I speed let them at the speed of light. You thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay us anymore? Who do you think you are? You know. It's what I decided for Takashi Kun's sake. I'm going to make sure that there won't be any more students like him who. So you're just going to try and get out of your responsibility? I bet you don't even care about Taki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education months and months and months after his death because we were blackmailing a teacher for money. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her students to die would surely cause a scandal, even though we waited months and months and months to actually do anything and have been re receiving bribe money. I'm not going to run and hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take a legal action, then go right ahead. Regardless, I'll consider teaching. I've decided that the best apology I can t make Takakun by paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Huh. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, or your little stent as a sex worker. What? Hey, man. <laughs> oh, so I'm right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, shall we hand over to the faculty office? Hey, we were getting all this money as bribe money, and this lady's been paying it. You should look into seeing how she's getting all this money so we can mess up getting money from them. <laughs> how unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Tucky's matter unsettled. You know what you have to do, right? Pay up, and don't ever call us again with that garbage about stopping the payments. I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. Like, it's just so, it's so, like, bad. It's like, oh, we're get, we know you're getting all this money from somewhere, so we're going to go tell the faculty office to screw you over and essentially screw us over at the same time from getting money from you. <laughs> so, I don't understand what their logic is. It's like, okay, you like getting money from her, but then it's like you want to go do a legal battle um, and then basically, I guess get her out of a job and then you're not going to get any money from her like you've been consistently <laughs> it's so bad so it's like you turn her in you screw yourself over you keep you tell her if she ever says no then you're gonna again screw yourself over because you've been receiving essentially bribe money for months like the court's gonna be like uh you know you've been receiving bribe money and then you're just like oh she's working as a sex worker Okay, how do you prove that? Because she was getting our bribe money from somewhere. Your what money? Oh, it's, it's basically going to be a joke and it's going to get thrown out and they're going to look stupid. They're going to have egg on their face. But what can you do? You can't give up. I know. But what am I supposed to do? Tell me the name. What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, it's impossible. <laughs> Need something from Kawakami. I can't do this anymore. What are their names? What is your name? What? The Kashis. The husband is Toshino-san and his wife is Hiroyami-san. I can never forget them. I sent them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? 
Please don't. A Shujin teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so excited to tell you what I had decided, and then I ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you started about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. <laughs> yeah, class will be at the start. Um, you need to go. Hmm. I need to do something to target for Kawakami. The teacher's made to suffer. Which, we're gonna have to go to Memento soon because we have tons of things to do. Makoto, you said you wanted to go to the Red Light District? Let's do it. Hey. That said, all we need to do now is wait. Uh, yes. 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 <laughs> Red De Yes, I do. And I have Isis, and we've got Bonds, and we're gonna go. Alright then. Great, let's meet up after we change out of our uniforms. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Magana, we're going, like, across town. Where the hell are you going? Hmm. There are so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently, this place was a hotbed for criminal and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. You're very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal of it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. I've been here millions of times. <laughs> Regardless, it's become far safer than it used to be. I know, look at these tourists in here look, uh, taking selfies. Of course, the surveillance cameras play a substantial role in that. But it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. <laughs> Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operation nowadays are better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. Alrighty. At Makoto's request, we walk separately through Sinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. Uh-oh. <sighs> Did we lose him? The guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get a paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted to do was ask if any Sinjuku students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I'd probably be putting on a dress. That's dangerous. I won't be doing that. Yes. Granted, further in the game will be frequently a maid bar, but that's beside the point. For him, maybe. I, though I was gonna knock him out. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. Uh, I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope we can do the same for you someday. I sense quite a resolve for Makoto. Priestess rank two, Makoto Nijima. All right. Hmm. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here, and definitely no Sujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then. Huh? Well, there we go. <laughs> What's that? Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? The after school salon? Why is it called the salon? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too, as my witness. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, no, we're good. Well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All righty. Hey, even Makoto's got it. All righty, then. Hey, uh, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a barker. <laughs> I didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess there's nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. He just wouldn't give up. Let's actually go to next time. Couldn't agree more. Honestly, I'd realize I couldn't solve these problems on my own. It looks like what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into Sujin students we saw there. It'd be great if you can help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. And I'm sure we will once we hang out with Makoto next time. 
back. Nice. A fortune teller tell it predictions, but 10,000 yen is pretty steep. Yeah, but we need to pay it. Uh, where is she? I forget where she is. I think she's in Shinjuku. Oh yeah, she's in the red light district. Derp. But, like I said, if you made sure to leave Kaneshiro's palace with enough money, you should be able to start this confidant, which I am. Oh, you're HMO Fork, son. The other day, right? I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please take a seat. Uh, you want to purchase a holy stone for just 100,000 yen? You can change your fate. For that much, I better not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. If you do end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. Well, what do you want to do? Again, this is why you leave Kaneshiro's palace with at least 150-ish. I went a little bit overboard because I wanted to make sure I had enough money because I do a lot of fusions and persona moving around just to make sure we have the right ones to talk to our friends. Uh, but that's just me. But me, my recommendation... Um, based on my experience is at least a hundred and fifty just so you have some uh, wiggle room after this You're gonna get it back, but for at least right now. Yep. Let's buy one Thank you very much. Here you go my uh, uh, Quote-unquote holy stone. Uh, yeah It 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 does things <laughs> Don't put it in water mm -hmm. It's the same thing to do considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune it's, it's already changed with happiness aura. Y you feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with uh, moonlight every uh, three days. Please stop by again. Uh, let me know if your fate changed. Uh, goodbye. I should head home. She seemed really, really honest. <laughs> oh, you're home. I was about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn off the stove off. Guess she started forgetting things more and more the order you get. God damn it, I was forgetting to turn things on. I'm gonna burn down my place. Last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we had this time around. Should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy... Ow! What the heck? Hey, can you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, Adam... I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The stone shattered. What's gotten into you? Whoa! This tastes salty. Hey, the holy stone is just salt. Mm -hmm. Adam, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. <laughs> You're salty? That reminds me. I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm. Huh, I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grind it up some before. Wait, in that case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to get you better at cooking. I mean, I don't think that's right. The, the fortune teller tricked us. What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? Oh. <laughs> we couldn't have bought a load of fatty tuna with that money. No way. So the holy stone really was just a phony stone in the end. <laughs> that fortune teller's name was Cheyenne, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical powers, but this is just unacceptable. We need to go complain to her. <laughs> it turns out the holy stone I bought from Cheyenne was fake. I should go talk to her and try and figure out her true intentions. But first, I'm going to go to bed, apparently. Yeah. Man, who's waking me up in the middle of the night, man? I just got to sleep. I f take forever to fall asleep. God damn it, Ryuji. Hey, let's go somewhere tomorrow. You've been busy lately, so I want to be able to at least relax on Sunday. Where you want to go? A good place to go. I know. Want to try out the fishing pond? <laughs> and I can't really say that because I'm terrible. Yeah, we'll go to the fishing pond. Ugh, I got a bite. Hope the other fishes bite this easily. Let's meet in Shinjuku tomorrow then, right? They have a lot of fish at the pond, right? Can't wait. And it's funny because I've never gone fishing in this game. I know, blasphemous for a JRPG, never doing any of the fishing. All right. Now I gotta get back to sleep. Hey. 
So I was thinking about the future with you as a leader and me as your right hand man. Hey, it doesn't mean in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business. I like it. This is shady. <laughs> Like, we're regular high school students during the day, but at night you know what I mean. Man, this is getting me pumped up. Man, the fish ain't biting. The float hasn't moved all day. If only there are master fish around, then we can steal their ideas. Whoa! Whoa, is that Kawakami, isn't it? What's she doing here? Well, I mean, we did ask for a master fisherman. Oh crap, she's coming this way. Jeez. Cheese. Two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? Man, don't tell me how to live my life. What? Look who's talking. Ugh, adults need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. You understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, quote unquote working. Wow, sounding real old there, Kawakami. That's Miss Kawakami to you. For real? Holy crap, Kawakami could be our master fisher. She's hooking fish like crazy. It's easy, just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. For real? So that's the trick, is not to think? How am I supposed to do that? Uh, well, Ryuji, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> Except the grim reality of society. Let's go all the worldly desires. I see, so if I tell myself I don't want any fish, Nope, not gonna work. I'm asking for tips because I want to get fish. <laughs> it's nice and sunny Sunday. I don't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. Ugh, two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. She keeps getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. Call her Master Kawakami. <laughs> Look at all those points. Once again, it's Miss Kawakami. Wanna head back? Didn't think I'd be at something like that today, but guess we're heading back. Apparently, Miss Kawakami is the master fisherman. Ah, uh, you're back. Well then. That reminds me, the home shopping program's there today. You wanna check it out? Yeah, we will. And we also have to do one other thing too. Because it's Sunday, and you know what that means. What do you want? I want the smoothie. That's quite a color. I would not want to drink that. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Good job. I was watching you try so hard. Ah, eh, my one point. It's fine. All the points count. Oh, so now you're healthy. Let's go somewhere else. Yep, and let's start another confidant over here at the church. I want to talk to Miss Hafumi sitting over here in church, which is kind of hilarious that she's just playing like, I guess, shogi in a church, but whatever. Hey. That girl's playing shogi. Maybe she's Hafumi Togo, the one Yusuke mentioned. Why don't you go ask her? Uh, Hafumi-chan? What? Uh, yes. My overflowing charm seems to have reached Hafumi. <laughs> That's an interesting way to say it. I'm Hifumi Togo, playing shogi at a church. Strange, huh? I did receive approval to do so, though. <sighs> Experimenting with new tactics is best to do alone in a place like this. Well, I suppose that doesn't sound terribly plausible to someone who doesn't play. Don't mind me. Please go ahead and pray. Hifumi Togo seems to take a very technical approach to playing shogi. I feel like I can learn some tactics for the Phantom Thieves from her shogi expertise. Should I ask her if she teach me? Yeah, do it up. Yes? Can I help you? Can you teach me shogi? Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Yeah, but... Sorry. I just can't. No. Oh. Well then. Um, so you like Shoki? Yeah. I'm ready. I want to play like you. 
Like me? You're a bit strange, but thank you. Um. Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I don't know how to play, fine with me. I'll start. Don't want to tell her that. So this is your skill level, huh? The oh, dragon Jesus. Which the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? Check. It's checkmate, no matter how you look at it. Please concede. Uh, concede? To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost with grace. If you aspire to become a shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, then, that will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? Oh, why? So you can body me some more? A gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. Uh, s sorry, I'm a beginner. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? Sounds good. Bring it on. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, bring it on. That's precious. Well, oh, then, Jesus. It's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. I made a deal with Hafumi. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Kafumi Togo. Rank star rank 1. Koma Sabayaki. Allow you to swap current party members with backup members during Joker's term, which is very useful. So you can be tactical and switch out your party members during a fight, which is awesome. All right. Which becomes very important later in the game for just making sure you have something okay, to target all weaknesses. I feel like playing with Shogi with Hifumi has helped me sharpen my knowledge. Good, because I'm at rank four. Thank you for today. I'd like to thank you once again for today. Before you head home, would you like to exchange IDs with me? There's no obligation, of course. Sure. Lucky me. I guess we can. Oh, sure. Thank you. All right, then. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, Until it went next through. Time. I'll let you know if I come up with any new strategies. We were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Thanks for that book to speed reading. I should be able to do quickly. Alright. So, let's see. Uh, interesting. What can I read? Well, it's basically foreshadow. I think we're gonna... Because huh. it's a toss-up between starting some other stuff for some skills or just improving, like, knowledge or <laughs> flowers. But, yeah, learn pro darts is probably the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Find the posture that feels most stable to you. Nice. Oh. 
So you finished reading Learn Pro Darts. Did you get some tips on playing darts? I'm sure there's a lot of games in its first seems, huh? That said, there's not much point to just studying the theory of it. Let's put that knowledge to use and play something. All right. You can now use third eye when playing darts. This increases your focus when preparing to throw a dart, making it easier for you to hit where you aim. Which is going to be important coming up. Oh my god. It's already July? <laughs> I hate this rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. The humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention July and August both have 31 days. Summer's long. Now then, HMO 4 Coon. Who is everybody you? just answer me? Two people are responsible for July and August have 31 days. Do you know those people? Well, if I had to guess, July, Julius, and August, Augustus. This is it. That's correct. Great, that's right. You may already know this. But the month of July and August are named after the Roman emperors Julius and Augustus. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. However, he feels like he'd be losing it and his month was shorter than Julius's, so he added a day. It's a mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this. Hey, you get that question? Wasn't a good choice. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Yep, I'm super duper smart. Just gaining that knowledge. Well, as far as you all concerned, you're just lucky to have a long vacation. Before you do, you have exams. They start next week on the 13th, don't forget. Now then. Nah, we're good. We have enough uh, knowledge to blow past all those. And I think that's where we'll wrap up with today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below so you don't miss an episode. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some more odds and ends. We still have five days to wait what happened with Kaneshiro after we changed his heart. I think with it being a rainy July 4th, if you're American, that's Independence Day, we're going to do some fun activities, which would include uh, darts, if you can imagine why I brushed up on darts before we do some darts. But until next time, and hope you join me for that, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Persona 5 Royal. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.